All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight matchup between Nick the Carney Lentz and Leonardo Santos. So you know what this fighter can do offensively, but defensively, I'll be surprised if he gets put on his back tonight. The takedown defense really jumps off the film. Great balance, a solid base, as quick a sprawl as anybody in this division. And a lot of fighters offensively waste a lot of energy trying to bring this fighter down. May want to try to beat him on the feet because if you're going to employ the takedown, more often than not, this guy will sprawl and stuff your shot. This guy has some of the best throws I have ever seen in all my years of commentating. His timing, his delivery, and the power in which he delivers these techniques is beautiful to watch. Power, power, power. As he makes the walk tonight, no denying what he'll be trying to do to unleash some of the more devastating kicks we have seen in the UFC in years. Just brutally powerful, and oftentimes he'll do major damage just by landing one or two kicks to that lead leg or to the body, thereby changing the complexion of the fight. You talk about guys like Tiago Alves, Jose Aldo Jr. Enter this young man. Scary, scary power on his kicking game. This guy is an excellent grappler. What he wants to do here is get a hold of his opponent and bring the fight to his world. Either press him up against the cage, rough him up with dirty boxing, or drag him to the ground, control him, and possibly submit him. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Four years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Pete LeVay. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's who does he face? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Leonardo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 30 wins, 8 losses, 2 draws, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Colorado, Nick the Carney! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. And here we go. Whoa! There's a nice inside leg kick. He's picking him apart. He threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Lentz gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. And there's a single attempt. Oh, and down. Elbow by Lentz. He's now back to half guard. So an interesting display. Wow! Oh, we heard it. Oh, we oh, no. no. Nice leg kick. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Oh, man. The canvas is shaking as he slams him down. He lands a huge elbow to the head. 
excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southpaw here, Joe. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. He keeps finding a home for that shot. Exactly. Back to the clinch here, Joe. Now he switches to double underhooks here. Oh, oh, slams him oh. down with conviction, man. Let's get back up again. There's that patented single. Guillotine, guillotine. That choke is locked up. And he gets out. That was a close guillotine. Half guard. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Lentz has got the double underhooks here in the clinch now. Cannot get it. Santos has got that over under here in the clinch. Let's see what he can do. Oh, there he goes, transitioning to the back in the clinch. Well done. Lentz has got double underhooks now. Back control. That knee might have landed there. Second round, straight ahead. Wow, full domination this round. Here's a big leg kick. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Here's a devastating kick that results in a knockdown. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen, you can do this now. He is ready to be out of there, okay? You completely rocked him. Brittany Palmer is in the building doing work as usual. Second round underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Right hand forward now, switching to southpaw. How about that shin? Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations. And that... Oh, oh. Him. This could be it! Big body, body shot!
Over under hooks here. Another takedown attempt here. Oh, oh nice the slam, Joe. Lynch gets back up. Oh, misses with the jab. Over under now in the clinch. Lentz has got the tie clinch now. He transitions to the tie clinch. This round. Take a seat. Deep breath in. Good. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. All right, man. I want you to set those kicks up. Here's a perfectly placed kick that results in a knockdown. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Big round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Are you ready? Are you ready? Third round underway. A lot of different looks. He switches to Southpaw now. Chopped defensively to block the strike there by Lentz. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. See the total strikes. Keep it busy here on the clinch. Got double underhooks. Lentz is pummeling, works in that underhook. Got double underhooks here. And he's in the Muay Thai clinch. He's got the double. Knees to the body here in the clinch by Lentz. And now trying to take the back. Yeah, look at that takedown, man. Half guard here. Lentz gets up. Clearly, he wanted this fight back to its feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. Misses a huge hook oh. to the head. Oh. Oh. and he just couldn't have done it any better than that. He is known for his kicks, and that was just a perfectly placed in time kick. Full force, landed flush, full extension with the leg, and you knew that if his opponent didn't get the guard up, that was gonna be the end of the night, and he went good night. Let's see it one more time. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Here once more, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has gone to stop in this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of the third round. We're going to winner by knockout, Nick Bacardi So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.